Welcome to the city of gentle people, Dumaguete City. Dumaguete City is more than just a scuba diving destination or a travel hub to the surrounding tourist attractions. It is the capital of Negros Oriental, located in Region 7 of the Philippines. Getting to Dumaguete City The charming town can be reached via air, land, and sea. The Dumaguete Cebuan Airport has daily flights going to and from Cebu and Manila, where the international airports are located. The seaport of the neighboring town, Cebuan Seaport, also serves as a gateway for travelers for the nearby island of Cebu. If you are coming from other places in the Philippines, such as Bohol or Siquijor, you can get a ferry and land in the Dumaguete Seaport, located along the beautiful stretch of Rizal Boulevard, one of the favorite attractions for both local and tourists. To see the Dumaguete Cebuan Airport or Dumaguete Ferry schedule, please check the video description. Where to stay in Dumaguete With the growing numbers of tourists and business travelers coming to Dumaguete City, new hotels, guest house, and apartment complexes continue to grow throughout the city. There is an accommodation for each wallet. Backpackers will find their bed and breakfasts, and business travelers can get a hotel in the center of Dumaguete, where all the banks and office buildings are just stone throw away. And of course, beach resorts are the places to go for unwinding and relaxing. Hotels in Dumaguete offer great services to reasonable prices. Air conditioning, cable TV, Wi-Fi, and mini bars are a standard in most places. The city itself has no proper beach. The dive and beach resort are mainly located in Dawin, just a 20-minute drive south. Know more about where to stay in Dumaguete by checking the video description. What to see in Dumaguete The Rizal Boulevard overlooks the Bohol Sea and is a picture-perfect scene during sunrise. A stroll along the boulevard is the perfect way to start the day. Rizal Boulevard is named after Dr. Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines. In the 1880s, Dr. Rizal was banished by the Spanish colonials. Before reaching his destination of exile, he stopped by at the long shore known today as the Rizal Boulevard. Here you can see the big smiles of locals enjoying the sea breeze and the shade provided by the big acacia trees. After that, the real city tour begins. Dumaguete is rich in culture and heritage. The Silliman Hall, which can be found at one end of the boulevard, stands proudly tall beside the sea. Silliman University is known for its international reputation in the field of learning. They cater all levels of education from preschool, elementary, high school, and college. When stopping by, try to visit the Silliman Church as well. It is a nice place to visit for its architecture, view, and stained glass windows. However, when it comes to churches, nothing can beat the rich history and architecture of the Dumaguete Cathedral and the Bell Tower. The Dumaguete Cathedral is also known as the Santa Catalina de Alejandria or St. Catherine of Alexandria Church. The original foundation of the cathedral was laid in 1754 and finished construction in 1776. A chiseled sign that rests in the bricks of one of the exterior walls states that the cathedral is the oldest stone church in Negros. To the far left side of the church, the Campanario de Dumaguete is located. After this, you can just cross the street and enjoy a nice stroll in the park. The Manuel L. Quezon Park, or simply the Quezon Park, is located at the center of the city and is quite hard to miss. It is one of the most significant landmarks in the city. Children can enjoy the playground while teens and adults enjoy sports and dancing at the Plaza Square. This is a great place to see and perhaps interact with the gentle people of Dumaguete. To see the other tourist attractions of Dumaguete City and Negros Oriental, please see the video description. What to eat in Dumaguete 
One thing visitors should never become in Dumaguete is hungry. Unaccountable food stalls, barbecue stands, and bakeries are open 24-7. Some of the famous fast food chains have multiple outlets all over Dumaguete. Local snacks are sold everywhere, from sweets to ice cream and even Filipino delicacies. For those who long for the taste from home, culinary international delights and meals are available around the city and mostly at the waterfront of the Rizal Boulevard. Festivals in Dumaguete Aside from the variety of food, Dumaguete also has a variety of events which you can enjoy throughout the year. The biggest festival in Dumaguete is called the Sandurut Festival. It is a celebration rich in culture, history, art, and a lot of dancing. It portrays how Dumaguete became the city it is today. This festival is usually held as one of the main celebration for the City Charter Day or City Fiesta. Food booths, games, and competitions are held during the said event. On the month of October, the province's grandest festival is held. The Buglasan Festival is annually celebrated in Dumaguete since it is the capital of Negros Oriental. Towns from all over the province of Negros Oriental participate in the grandest showdown and street dancing. That is why Buglasan is known as the Festival of Festivals. Scuba Diving in Dumaguete The Philippine Archipelago is a well-known destination for underwater photography and scuba diving. Some of its most popular sites are located in Negros Oriental. Scuba diving in Dumaguete is certainly the activity which plays the city on the tourism map for international travelers. Most of the hotels, dive centers, and dive sites in this area are situated 15 kilometers south in the small town of Dawin. It also serves as the starting point for many of the water activities in Dumaguete. If you are a scuba diver or just a water enthusiast, you will surely enjoy the waters of Dumaguete City. After a long day of fun and adventure, it is now time to relax and enjoy the nightlife of the city. Most of the fun can be seen and done along the Rizal Boulevard. Live bands of Honeycomb and the Disco of Why Not is known as the nightlife hotspot for most foreigners and locals. Down at the Piyapi Beach in the Escanio area, live bands of Hayahai and disco and bars of Tiki and Cafe Racer are also a great place to visit. Don't miss out on the Dumaguete Street Market, also known as Tempurahan, where you can dare yourself to eat one of the Philippines' delicacy called balut. If you are lucky, you can get a ride at the native transportation called Kalesa, a horse carriage decorated with lights and shiny materials. As the day comes close to an end, you can now relax and continue exploring the many wonders Dumaguete has to offer. What are you waiting for? Come and visit Dumaguete City, the city of gentle people.